Hello everyone and welcome to The Happy News. My name is Lauren and I'm here to present you with some really happy stories that I found on the internet to help us have a better life. And I'm also looking for your stories. I am looking for your stories so I can present them here on Moving On TV. The first one is happening in Brazil. This is the aftermath of a very sweet moment between a general and a protester in Brazil. Upon seeing what looked to be an impending conflict, the general made a simple request. Do not fight, please. Not on my birthday. How did the protesters respond? By not fighting, for starters. But they went a step further and made the man a cake. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And you can read more of that on The Daily Good. And here's another happy news story. We don't hear much about Israeli and Palestinian people getting on. But this is a really good one. A group of Israeli women illegally brought some of their Palestinian female friends from the southern part of the West Bank into Israel for a day in the sun. The Palestinian women went in disguise, which meant removing clothing and not covering up. Now, we all love our furry friends. And I've got a beautiful story here about a lovely dog called Lilika. And this dog lets no animal go hungry. Imagine that you're feeding a hungry dog and instead of eating all the food you brought for her at once, she picks up a bag and brings it home. Every night she eats only part and takes the rest with her. One day you follow her home, four miles away, and discover that she is bringing the bag of food you prepare her to share with the other hungry animals in her extended hungry family including dogs, cats and chickens. But this is the true story of Lilika, whose generosity will inspire you. So this is an amazing inspirational story. I love when I hear it about people who are able to overcome physical problems with their body. And I've got a couple of those today. Well, this one is about Nick Carr, a man who was restricted to a wheelchair for 23 years. And he walked 70, 65 feet to raise money for others. Our doctors told Nick he would never walk again. But this week, the 26-year-old proved them wrong. Carr put himself through excruciating pain, but he walked 65 feet during a charity tour of the UK. It was all to raise money for a proposed innovative sports centre in Carr's hometown of Cornwall in England. Carr was diagnosed with encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain. I know what it is. <laughs> he was three years old and has been restricted to a wheelchair ever since. I want to help raise money for the centre because it can help people like me to get better and believe in themselves, said Carr. It fits in with what I want to do. To walk for me was seen as an impossible challenge and I want the centre of challenge to inspire people. On Monday, after a year of training, Carr hauled himself up from his wheelchair and took his first steps in more than two decades. I knew there were lots of people watching me, but I was focused on getting the walk done. It felt amazing to do this for such a worthy cause. Isn't that amazing? You see, we're here to bring you all the new stuff, all the people that are healing themselves. And every day I'm hearing of new and new stories. Now you're gonna, this is just incredible. And I thought I will end with this one because to me this is so exciting. It's a story about a 75 year old grandfather. His name is Alan Taylor, cured himself of incurable cancer. And this is how he did it. This man created a wacky diet which helped him beat all the odds, okay? And his miracle remedy included powdered grass, curry spices, apricot seeds, and selenium tablets. Now, when doctors told him he had incurable cancer, he decided he wasn't just going to give up and die. Instead, the 78-year-old grandfather determinedly searched the internet for help. And when he found what he was looking for, he began an intensive alternative diet to try to cure his sickness. But he believes 
that one of the crucial ingredients in curing this cancer was a teaspoon of powdered barley grass in hot water every morning and night. The scan had shown my cancer had gone and the abnormality is no longer visible. I am all clear. Isn't that incredible? A 75-year-old grandfather, 78-year-old grandfather, went on the internet and found his own cure for cancer. I look forward to receiving all your happy, joyful, inspirational stories. As I say, you can tweet me at MOTV or you can email me at ILANA at bellair.net. So have a beautiful week and let's all celebrate all the wonderful new things that are coming into our world. Thank you.